I was doing a photography job for the Legacy Foundation and they had a 219 on the table series of surveys that they did throughout Northwest Indiana. And one of those interviews took place here at the Blind Social Center. When I was here, I was moved and inspired by the patrons, by Mr. and Mrs. Blair, and the extraordinary work they do. Then the Legacy Foundation offered a grant opportunity. So the first thing that came to my mind was, I wanted to come back to the center and see if there was an opportunity to make an impact here. The goal was so that the center could start a gallery here for the patrons and about the patrons. And then when I was here, we had a small, simple class, so we did painting and drawing. We took the lead with what they, what their abilities were and what direction they wished to go. Um, and that was exciting for me also because art is one of those fields where there is no wrong answer. They were excited about it because it was something new. Actually, even me as a sighted individual, when the art program first started, you know, I was a little skeptical because it's like I've never seen blind individuals paint art before. So when they started the first class, and after the class was ended that day, they had pictures that were halfway completed, and it was just amazing that a blind individual actually can paint art because of what they see in their minds. It's like, when you have your sight, we see from our pericule in terms of our eyesight that allows us to see. But blind people see differently. They see with their hands, they see with their ears. Each blind individual sees in a different manner. They need to use their other senses to experience the art. I was recently at the Art Institute in Chicago. Art is not something that you can walk up and touch. It created in my mind that this is something that the patrons and that all folks with disabilities, there are a lot of things that we as a society are kind of closing the door. Well, we as artists can create work that can look two-dimensional but is three-dimensional. I used a gesso medium and painted it with acrylic and used the bold fluorescent greens and orange which the visually impaired can see. And that's why you see lime green and neon orange in the center because neon orange and fluorescent green are the largest pigmentation colors on the color chart. Low vision to moderate vision, they can see color. And everything when it was finished off was sealed with a clear coat. Clear coat allows you to touch the piece and the oils and any dirt on our hand does not damage the piece so that it can be touched over and over and over again. Now. The patrons are empowered and enabled to grow and discover something that they didn't know was a possibility. And even though they're blind, they still want to do things as well as we as sighted people, something new. It's a challenge for them. Most sighted people don't understand the validity of that. No sight, and they can paint a picture. We are have, we have individuals that have sight that can't even paint a picture, okay? You even, <laughs> you can even give them the subject to paint. They can't paint, you know, for some reason they can't pick it up to, to paint that picture. But you have blind individuals that actually paint pictures. Life doesn't stop when you're blind. There's a lot of things that blind people can do if you just give them the opportunity. The eight weeks that I taught, we want them to have that opportunity to keep growing as artists. I want the door to be open. I want the patrons to continue to express themselves in an artistic way. And I hope that this will open the door for that and create the dialogue that needs to be had.